Hello everyone, I am your host Tharun Zuberi. In this video, we will see the difference between the public and a private repository. So, let's get started. Before moving into details, let me first tell you the basic difference between a public repository and a private repository. In a simple words, the public repository is the one that is globally accessible to everyone. Like even you are logged in or the part of my repository or have access to my repository, you have the access to my repository. If, like you can see in my GitHub dashboard, I have created my repository, first repository in my previous tutorial. It has a tag public in it as we chose public while creating the repository. But if it is a private repository, then the code is only accessible to me or the person I assign the access to them. Uh, let us see the benefits for the public repository or the private repository. The benefits of the public repository is the one that most of the packages are all around. If you can see uh, you are using the packages such as Jira tables or the grids or any other library. They are all publicly available to GitHub. And if you go to the npm js or composer, they are always provided with a GitHub URL. The repository that, that they provide are all the public repository. Let's try to search any data table. You can see if I go to the table here, there must be a public repository URL here. You can see the GitHub repository URL here. The repository is public. And that is why it is accessible to you and everyone. You can see you can see the commits, you can see the last commit, you can see the branches, and let's try to go to the commits. And you can see the code is here, and we can even go through all the stuff. You can see we can even see the changes but if it is a private repository we are not able to see anything. The public repository is pretty beneficial when you are managing your github account as a portfolio or you want to share some thoughts or packages with the world. But if you are working on a private project with a client or you want uh, you want to keep the files only debit to you then you have to choose a private repository. Let's first try to create the repositories and see how we can make it them. Create a repository. Repositories. Create a new one. Now, public repository. Okay, it is the name of a public repository. Now, let's give it a description public repository. Now here you can see we have an option named public or private. In the most of the packages the public repository is free and private is the is only free for some point like it will be limited to some users or something. We will see that in the later in which we are discussing about the github pricing. So let's choose public here, add up a readme file, add up a git ignore file or choose up a license. If you add up a readme file I already told you the, uh, I already told you the details in the other tutorial Get ignore. Uh, we are not going to add up get ignore or choose a license create repository. Now you can see the repository is created and we have the URL here. And I already told you the repository is publicly accessible. So let me just copy the URL and try to access the repository in a private window. If I go to the private window in which there is no session and I am not logged into that, let's just try to access this repository with the URL that we just copied. You can see the repository is here but as you know it is empty so let's try to add up a file and see if it is accessible here or not. Let's try to add up a file uh, but you can see get ignore and commit new file. Okay we just updated the empty get ignore file and now let's try to access the repository in the private window again there must be the file there you can see the file is here so in the public repository the file is uh, the repository is publicly accessible to everyone and anyone can access your code and see the commits or something like that but on the other hand the private repo in the private repository the code is only limited to you or your team now let's try to create our private repository 
go to the repositories new repositories new now let's try to choose with the private here private repository choose the private here private add a bucket ignore file it will allow us we to choose up a standard and no, uh, no, none if I get none it will uh, let's pick up a laravel yes pick up a laravel and create a repository now let's see what will be here uh, you can see the repository is created but here we with a private tag now let's try to access the repository in the private window now we are not logged in here so the repository must not be accessible here you can see the page not found because the repository is private and only accessible to my team to have the access you must give the uh, you must grant the access uh, with here in the settings you can see manage access uh, for that I have to pick up my password three second solutions now here I have to add other people to give them access oh and in this way I can manage my repository that is private so the private repository is mostly beneficial when you are working with a client or managing your private files but if you are working uh, if you are working to manage your portfolio or um, or want to do some social work to make a package or something like that you must go with the public one so here we see the difference between the public repository and the private repository this is a very clean and easy difference i hope this video was beneficial for you guys if you have any question or something you can go with the comments and ask me about it. i will definitely help you with that stay tuned with me guys see you next time